The first app which is in our list is one and only most popular ad blocker. Name is Ad Away, which is basically an open source ad blocker app. And this is one of the must have rooted Android apps. Also one of the apps which I have ever tried, one of the best apps I have ever tried. Because if you have root on a device and you want to use ad blocker, we know we have some extra choices. For example, dns.adguard.com and some other options. But in this case, you have the option to customize that host file so you can simply choose which ad you want to block on a device or which ad you want to allow and this is quite impressive this is also an open source ad blocker so this is quite impressive you can see you have the option to add the host to blacklist and some more things regarding this one this is one of the best and you must give it a try and it is still working in 2023 so yes you shall try it out on a device Secondly, we have FKM, which is Franco Kernel Manager, basically a paid app available on Google Play Store. I purchased that in the last year. And why I purchased that? Because of some features like the battery monitor services and some kernel related things. You have the option to customize the options related CPU. You have the option to tweak your CPU things and GPU, etc, etc. And if your kernel supports, if you're using custom kernel and supports extra features and you you need a kernel manager then of course after rooting your device you should have a kernel manager and one of those good and perfect kernel managers is fkm which is working perfectly fine and yes this also works in 2023 if you are looking forward to install a kernel manager then you should try out fkm on a device which is franco kernel manager basically paid but it's quite worthy you can definitely purchase it you can consider purchasing it if you want to one of the apps which were which was actually which was actually quite good but unfortunately not maintained and it's not working at all in 2023 is rome toolbox it's also available on the google play store it's absolutely free and the pro version is also present there but actually i found none of these things are working here because this was quite now outdated this is quite outdated and if you're still looking to try it out on a device that how the things were working, this is simply related to some tweaks which you can apply on a device, which are of course working here. But unfortunately, uh, I will not recommend you to use this thing because if something happens to your device because of these apps, I will not be able to fix that and I'm not responsible for anything happened to your device. But this was quite impressive in the previous times. Now in 2023, it's not worthy. So this is one of the apps which I Will never recommend you one of the apps which is actually partially working and partially not is greenify if you are rooted and looking to hibernate some apps in the background then you can try out greenify i remember in 2018 2019 uh, the things were super amazing when i was using android 6 7 8 9 this was working perfectly fine greenify also works without root too which is simply hibernate the apps in the background so of course better ram management and including that better battery backup too but the thing is this is not exactly like what it was previously now it's not that much good also because 4 gb ram 6 gb ram are actually quite normal right nowadays so you can handle those things in the background if you still need to hibernate if you need some extra things you have the option like super freeze hail there are many other choices so greenify is kind of 50 50 if you want to try it out you can or you can simply skip this thing one of the apps is Titanium Backup, which was super amazing previously. And uh, definitely, I will not recommend you to use this thing in 2023 because it is also not updated. It is related to backup your apps, including data. I know we have many options available like Migrate, Swift Backup, etc. But those things were not existed in the previous times when Titanium Backup was there. Titanium Backup was the first app when I tried taking the backup including data, app backup including data and this was the first app. It includes great features. If you use the free version, you have less features and if you use the pro features like pro version, you have a lot of features. You can take backup of these apps in batches and there are many more things. Unfortunately, it's not working in 2023. So this is also one of these apps which I will not recommend you to try out. You can use Migrate or Swift Backup for that. 
one of the bags one of the apps include st made and the pro version i purchased from google play store unfortunately while making this video it's banned from google play store i don't know why but the thing is it's no more available on the google play store although you can download this from internet of course from google if you want to st made this was super amazing and one of the most underrated cleaner app for android of course there are many cleaner apps available on google play store which simply gives you some virus and malware etc but this was so amazing you can try out sd made se which is an open source app available on f droid you can find out that very easily if you want to try out sd made it is definitely working you can still give it a try which will simply clean the caches on your device and make your device smooth and this is only one of the few cleaner apps which is definitely working and worthy if you want to give it a try you should and this is one of the apps which you try we also have the swift backup app available i just tried out titanium backup i just shared titanium backup because that was not working so swift backup is one of those apps which you should try out i'm not comparing it with titanium backup or also i'm not comparing swift backup with data backup or migrate all those apps are of course they they have their own place if you want to use swift backup you can one of the things which i don't like about swift backup is sometimes it it just uh, it just doesn't work i don't know why in some customers it is still giving me some issues but data backup is working perfectly fine but that is the only reason and that only happens only once in five or six customers so not a big deal to deal with i i i can simply survive with swift backup and i can use that we also have the option for shizuku and uh, i don't think so i need to tell you about shizuku that if it is working fine in 2023 or not because of course it's literally new and it is working perfectly fine shizuku uh, sometimes need like in some apps where the rooted things are not working they don't require rooting your device there's a app i'm not exactly sure about the name but that app simply requires shizuku to run you can't run at that app without shizuku doesn't matter if your device is rooted or not and we also have ambient music mod tap tap some apps are there which actually require shizuku so if you are rooted and want to try out shizuku you should definitely give it a try because while using root shizuku works perfectly fine one of the apps which is so underrated is smart herds i know i've shared this app previously when i think so i shared this app to with you on my hindi channel this was regarding auto refresh rate or basically force refresh rate in some apps for example if you use miui in some apps refresh rate is restricted you can't use more refresh rate than that for example if, if even if your device supports 120 in youtube you have 60 hertz by default but with the help of this app as if your device is rooted you can force refresh rate you can simply use that force to refresh rate in that particular app this is so amazing and of course without a doubt it is working in 2023 although it is also paid some features are free here i mean by default starting at free but after that it's paid so it depends upon you if you want to try it out or or not last but not the least we have es file explorer this is also partially working and partially not if, if you want to try it out you can simple file manager having all the features the features the same features which are available in me explorer are present in this es file explorer previously i was using es file explorer right now using me explorer it's as i just mentioned partially working and partially not if you still want to give it a try i will provide the link in the description so for all of these apps links are already available in the description this was the list of the rooted android apps most popular rooted apps which are working or not this is it thanks for watching and bye